mysterious earth forces might be igniting earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Well, we know that these are more frequent with what we're in now, the solar minimum. They're also more frequent during full moons, when we have a great gravitational pull, not only on the tides, but also a few centimeters on the Earth, causing Earth tides. And we also know that with planetary alignments, it definitely has an uptick in seismic activity on the Earth. Now, Svetlana Ekimenko reports describing understanding the complex behavior of the geologic forces, the natural processes of volcanic activity is, of course, challenging and fascinating to research, but it's important to glean knowledge for being able to forecast any impending potential eruption. And most of them, as we know, are surprise eruptions. For example, what happened on the uh, White Island volcano, the uh, New Zealand North Island volcano, which is not far from Taupo supervolcano. It's about 130 miles uh, n south of that. Now, of course, you know, these uh, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes do j jostle and jolt other nearby faults. Not only that, they're felt worldwide as well, picked up by seismometers everywhere. Now, this groundbreaking new study claims that polar motion and shifts in Earth's crust may increase volcanic activity and also trigger earthquakes. Well, of course, if you have shifts in Earth crust, it will cr it trigger earthquakes and volcanic activity. That's just normal and logical. The research is called, is there an influence of the pole tide? Pole tide? Pole tide, yes, on volcanism. That's a new term. Now we've got pole tides. Insights from Mount Etna recent activity. The probe is possible link between polar motion forces pulling on Earth's surface as the planet spins, and the seismic activity at the uh, Italian volcano of Mount Etna. And these are all images of Mount Etna that you're seeing here, by the way, all past uh, eruptions. All of them are Mount Etna. Now, the result of the study was published in AGU Journal, Geophysical Research Letters, and it shows that the earthquake activity and the bursts of magma near Italy's Mount Etna did increase when Earth's rotational axis was furthest, furthest from its geographic axis. What does that mean? He says, I find it quite exciting to know that while climate drives Earth's spin, its rotation can also drive volcanoes and seismicity. This is what Sebastian Lambert geophysicist at Paris Observatory of France and lead author of the, paper, of the study says. So we're talking about pole tides, that's the first time I ever heard of that, and uh, an increase uh, in uh, Earth's rotational axis causes more. How does Earth's rotational axis, axis increase? I never even heard of that. Now, uh, why does he study Mount Etna? Lambert and his colleagues, Gianluca Sottili, volcanologists from Sapienza University of Rome in Italy, they focus their uh, attention on Mount Etna because, of, co of course, the volcano is well studied and they're Italians they're in Italy, meaning there's plenty of data for them to examine and it just sits south of 45 degree latitude. Earth's spin does not always line up perfectly with its north and south poles with the geographical poles often twirling atop our planet's rotational axis when viewed from space. The phenomenon is called polar motion, is driven by changes in climate due to things like changing seasons and melting ice sheets or movement from tectonic plates. Okay, the melting ice sheets we can understand, that's seasonal as well. Okay, and the pole, the pole motion we know as the seasons change, that changes too. Now, along with the fluctuating polar motion, forces pulling the planet away from the sun tug at Earth's crust. So, similar to tides generated by the, gravi uh, the gravitational pull, the, it's the Earth uh, tides, as we said. And over a span of season of years, a tide from polar motion causes the crust to deform with the distortion strongest at 45 degree latitude 
where the crust moves about one centimeter per year. That's about half an inch every year. There's also volcanic crises. That, uh, there were not any volcanic crises out of the ordinary, out of normal, at Mount Etna during the period studied. Labert and Sotili use seismic records from 11,263 earthquakes that happened within 26.7 miles or 43 kilometers of Mount Etna summit between the period 1999-2019, this 20-year period. They also use records of how much magma erupted from the volcano since the year 1900. Then they compared the distance between the geographical and rotational poles at each e event of time occurred to determine whether the volcanic activity was connected to Earth's spin. Lambert and Sotili discovered there were more earthquakes when Earth's rotational pole was furthest from the geographical axis. Between 1999 and 2019, those peaks were in 2002 and 2019. So what does this mean, practically? Even though the study uh, suggests that earthquakes may, might be more common or volcanic eruptions may eject more lava when the distance between Earth's geographic and rotational axis is at its peak, the new finding does not allow scientists to forecast volcanic activity. The time scale is too large for short-term forecasts, according to the authors. But uh, even so, the team was very excited over their findings. Lambert said, it's the first time we found this relationship in this direction from Earth's rotation to volcanoes. It's a small excitation process, but if you accumulate a small excitation over a long time, it can lead to measurable consequences. So looking towards the future, senior author of the study, Sotili, added that examining volcanoes in the Ring of Fire to see if Earth's spin impacts their activity would, of course, be very interesting. I guess that's the next thing they should do, of course, because I think that from what we knew from before, 75% of the world's volcanic activity is on the Ring of Fire, and also 90% of the Earth earthquakes are on the Ring of Fire. This is on Sputnik, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. All right, so what's happening with Etna right now? The status is it's erupting. Four out of five, it's erupting. The latest news, this is on Volcano Discovery. This is Etna, oops, what happened? Sorry. No, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. Um, ash advisory, explosive activity still observed at the summit, no ash cloud produced. Uh, 17th of December, Volcanic Ash Advisory Center Toulouse issued the following report. Uh, we'll see that later. And this is a picture of it at night. Activity at the volcano continues with little variation. Mild to moderate strombolian explosions occurring. New Southeast Crater Summit vent. And this is it right there. It's at the boot right there, as we know. And this is these are the um, fault lines right here. Okay. Typical eruption style, effusive lava. Lava flows, multi explosive stromboli eruptions, both summit and frequent flank eruptions. The latter seem to be occurring in clusters lasting few to a few tens of years. Etna volcano eruptions continuously active. Some major historic eruptions include 122 BC, large Plinian outbursts, created small calderas of the Crater del Piano. 1669 AD, devastating flank eruption that destroyed 15 villages, part of Catania. Subplinian eruption and one of the most spectacular summit eruptions on record. Lava flows reportedly up to 3,000 meters high, and uh, that was in 1787. Eruptions since 1950. 1950, 1955, 56, 57, 60, 61, you can see that basically every couple of years. Look at that, almost every year here, Every almost every year, okay, uh, 2001, 2002, 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. it's basically erupting every single year. That's a nice picture of it, look at that ash cloud. Okay, uh, two days ago we had earthquakes as well, 1.1 kilometer at um, 3 kilometer depth. 
another 22nd, 21st, 22nd, 2.5, 3.7, that's pretty big. 2 magnitude, 1.5 magnitude. And, uh, okay. Nice pictures here as well. What is that? Perfect stream ring from an Etna volcano. Wow, I've never seen that before. Okay. Stromboli activity, Etna's crater. Okay. That's it. More Etna images. Nine days walking and studying tour. They do have, they do have volcano tourism. Yes. Even to Mount Etna. Okay, so that's the situation there. And uh, let's see about this. The Ash Advisory, December 17th. And summit uh, level 3,330 meters high. Aviation color code orange from red. And uh, okay, so it's active as you can see. Volcanic Ash Advisory, yes. So I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.